The doctor is in and it's time for office hours. Now today's topic that I want to talk about is Rift Rivals. For those of you who don't know what Rift Rivals is, it's currently a League of Legends tournament that is going on right now. It is featuring regions facing off in a smaller capacity than worlds. For instance, it is North America versus Europe, with these being the current standings as of the recording. The teams involved top their regions and now get some extra international stage time. However, many pros have come out and said it's not exactly what they wanted and what they were looking for, but why is that? International competition can only make you better, right? Well, one of the biggest factors is that unlike other international games, this is set in the middle of a split instead of the end. With teams having to fly out to a new continent and then right back within a week, it's no easy feat. Phoenix One, for instance, had a game at 3 p.m. Sunday Eastern Standard Time and immediately had to fly out and be ready to play again on Wednesday. Not a whole lot of time to rest, deal with jet lag, or prep for the upcoming games against top teams. This is comparable to an NFL team playing on Sunday game night game only to play a Thursday game the following week. Another issue brought up by players in the community is there's really no significant war reward for winning. MSI had Tier 1 seeding for Worlds, and Worlds is, well, Worlds. Rift Rivals brings nothing but bragging rights, and if you've seen the threads on Reddit, you know that there's always going to be a comeback to whatever you have to say about why your team is the best. What are the teams that are not at Rift Rivals doing? Well, with it being a break week, it's almost like a mini vacation. Teams like Splice and Immortals can use this time to prepare new strats and rest up and prepare for the second half of the upcoming split. But it can't be all bad for the teams that went though, right? International competition really cannot be overstated. It certainly helps expose the weaknesses and strengths that might not be there in region. The greedy pick ban from EU has shown issues, while North America's team fighting is cracking as well. Both regions can now look at this and try and shore up before Worlds, and for some players like Mike Young, this is their first time on the international stage. Not only is this a great learning experience league-wise, but it's a fantastic life experience. Who else gets to do this? While Rift Rivals has its issues and has been criticized a fair bit, I don't think it's a complete waste of time. Yes, there's a lot of changes to be made for the next time, but for now, personally, I'm just enjoying the great League of Legends that's on display. I am, however, just one person. I want to hear what you guys think. Leave a comment down below or hit me up on Twitter. I'd love to keep this conversation going. From my house to yours, I'm Doctor, and this has been Office Hours. Catch you next week.